I got some more. I want to ask you this. Nigga, marry you in a book? Hey man, what's good y'all? I'm coming to y'all with another video today, man. Man, it's like I got all these fragrances, but it's like something's still missing. Like, Tropstar just needs somebody, you know what I'm saying? Everybody needs somebody. Tropstar needs somebody too, man. But y'all still got me, right? Damn me up, man. You a real hoe. But hey man, forget hell. We're gonna boss up anyway. Well, what color is your guy? Hey man, what's good y'all? I'm coming to y'all with another fragrance video today. And as y'all can tell by the title and thumbnail, we're coming to y'all with another fragrance TikTok related video. But hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ain't this app supposed to be getting banned? It hey, wasn't this like the hundredth time this app was supposed to be getting banned? This app is inevitable. I don't care what nobody say, bro. I don't think TikTok going nowhere. This shit gonna be here in 10 years. And if y'all don't think it is, it's just gonna be another different name. But I did two videos before this talking about is TikTok right about these fragrances. Cause y'all know some niggas be on straight BS on TikTok. Oh my God, bro. Oh, hell, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Get your ass on. But hey, like I said in the beginning of the video, we're gonna find out if TikTok is right about these three fragrances. But this time we have three different fragrances. Cocktail Intense, AKA Angel Share Dupe, Burberry Hero EDP, and Javanchi Gentleman Intense EDT. And we're gonna see if TikTok right about them. But hey, I'm ready. I know y'all ready. Let's get straight into it. Let's go. ¿Qué perfume te recomiendo para Here we go. Super Mario face ass nigga. Cologne to Riz Women on a budget. Givenchy Gentleman Intense EDT Sweet Powdery Iris. So 80% of the time you come into a contact with a, a fan or maybe somebody who watches your stuff, the word Riz is said? Yeah. What are the telltale signs of someone who's gonna ask? Um, white people almost uh, all, always say it. This Riz, why? Why is this rich shit still a thing? Why did he just say that? He one of them dudes that'll go up to Duke Dennis straight up and look him in his face. Teach me Riz. Man, you don't get your bitch ass. Y'all look at me in my face right now. If you say the word Riz, nigga, and I don't care what sentence, what scenario, nobody's taking you serious at all. Nigga, I promise you, if that was true, I have about four, five holes in my bed right now, nigga. Matter of fact, I got two of them right now. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show, I'll show y'all my holes right now. This is bay number one, and this is bay number two. The motherfuckers keep me company every night. All just aside though, that shit don't work. Well, it do work, but it's shit added on to it. See, that scent gonna make them turn around. But if they turn around, your ass look like Freddy Krueger. Nah, nah, B. They not doing that smile. All that, all that hee hee ha ha. All that shit dead. No, that shit over with. So don't go believe in that shit, nigga. Your looks gotta be up to part two in order for this shit to work. Wait a minute. Do that mean I'm ugly? All right, that's the last one because I can't find no other ones that's in fucking English. Everybody that has this fragrance is in fucking, they speak Spanish, nigga. They don't speak English. So we have to move on to Burberry Hero. It smells good, the performance is good, and it's a scent that most people will enjoy. But I do not love it. Right now, I don't see myself buying another bottle of it in the future. I can see how some people say that, because just like how some people say they get headaches with Baccarat Rouge, I feel like sometimes with wooden notes and fragrances, that gives many people headaches, which he might get with this. Or he just might not like the smell and it might be too basic for him. Because mind you, this stuff costs a lot of money just to be basic now. So, hey, I don't blame him. If it don't meet your preferences, by all means, nigga, you ain't forced to buy it again. Cuddles. Scale of This is like ten. a very happy fragrance. You're like 10. <laughs> I think. Also, spraying this on a flannel or hoodie and taking it home. <laughs> Yo, this is boyfriend material. No, literally. <laughs> Hey, I was dead on point. Hey, what I tell y'all in the last video? If a girl smells this on you, she's gonna be cozy on you. She's gonna wanna be all cut up on you. That This fragrance, it just gives you that cozy vibe, bro. I don't know what it is. Like if I spray this on this, and the girl is a pregnancy. Pregnancy. But yeah, this is just a very beautiful scent that I see women falling in love with if you're their significant other. This is a very wood, I feel like, yeah, I'm getting a very beautiful scent. Like, it's beautiful. It's literally so gorgeous. 
It smells like wood. I'm getting a brown image in my mind. This is the first time I see a female not saying no outrageous shit for real. She kind of on point. This is a woody fragrance through and through. If you're into those earthy, masculine vibes, this is right up your alley. It's decent, but it's not groundbreaking. Expect around four to six hours, so it might not last the whole day. It's moderate, it's not gonna fill a whole room, but will leave a pleasant trail behind you. Perfect for not overpowering your classmates or your coworkers. This one is versatile. You can rock it at school, work, a casual night out. It's not too flashy, but it does command some attention. Yeah, like I told y'all in the last video, to be real with y'all, the performance is not the best, but it's not terrible, you feel me? I sprayed it on my own wrist, not wrist, fucking, what is this called? I sprayed it, I don't know what this is called. I just, my mind is going crazy right now. But I sprayed it right here, and in a couple hours, it disappeared. Which was kind of weird to me because I'm used to fragrances still staying on here. Because a lot of my collection, I don't like weak performers, you feel me? So when they disappeared off here... I was like, yeah, I'm already know I'm gonna have to, you know what I'm saying, go crazy with this. But if you know you're gonna be out all day, I recommend spraying like, probably like 12 sprays, bro. Not gonna lie, cause disappearing off the skin is crazy. Like, you know how sometimes it fades and it, you can barely smell it? it? That just disappears. Yeah, it's very versatile. It's, bro, I'm telling you, versatile and great scent makes a great fragrance. For real, this, this make the females get like that. Oh, for, I ain't know that. Okay. Okay, okay. For 0.5, 10, the weakest of them all, it's a very intimate skin scent. It's like a body mist. Oh, no, I'm not hearing that bullshit. Um, no. This is definitely a review of a sissy sprayer. Um, you don't know how to spray right. This lasts for days. Um, you might you might be the one you might be the one two sprayer. Uh, uh, I'm good for uh 13 hours. No, that's they don't work like that. Get your little 20 in every single day and you'll be straight. You see now this this is the TikTok of a person who actually knows how to spray. You feel me? Like you know what I'm saying? Like me and my homeboy little baby. If, do I gotta play the video again? Bottom. They smell you when they see. It is a perfect routine. See, this is the dumb shit I'm talking about. What the? F but hey, man, it seems like for the most part, TikTok is starting to get their shit together. Hey, don't, don't get to a head now, y'all. Starting to get y'all shit together. Y'all motherfuckers still owe me my five dollars, nigga. The Hey, me and the gang, we coming out there, nigga. Me and you, we can go up to TikTok. I want you to shoot that shit up behind me, okay? But I'm going to stay in the car, though. But, hey, man, that was it for today's video. Let me know if y'all enjoyed it. Let me know what other videos y'all want to see, man. Oh, yeah, and a little announcement. I said this in my community poll, but I'm going to say it again. I'm going on a cruise next week. So, from Sunday, from Sunday all the way to next, next Sunday. And I'm not, I'm not going to have service like that because I'm going to be on a cruise. So my question is, do you guys want me to vlog or do you guys want me to pre-record? Because the weekend is coming up. So I can like, I'm going to have to grind the hell out of these five videos for the whole week for y'all. Or would y'all rather me like grind for like two, three videos and then like do the rest of the like vlogging. Like just vlog the trip. Let me know what y'all want to see. But I'm going to catch on the next video. Please let me know because I need to know now. But, shit. But yeah, I'm going to catch on the next video. Peace.